My name's Jeannie, and I have a son that's a senior in high school, and we've lived in Middleton for about 13 years. It was a Friday afternoon, and I was at work, and I got a phone call from Joe, and he said that he had um, broken off his front tooth playing basketball. I was diving for a ball, and as I was diving, someone else was diving at the same time, and he landed on my head, and I hit, my head hit the floor with my mouth open, and my tooth chipped out. It really scared me a lot when he called, and he was uh, sort of shaky. His voice was shaky. And as a parent, that's just the worst thing you know, ever, is to have your son or anyone call and say that there's been an accident of any kind, um, and especially regarding their teeth, their permanent teeth, which is you know, something that you live with for the rest of your life. He'd broken it in and caused some trauma to the, uh, a portion of the nerve, so um, we had a feeling that the nerve was going to die at some point, and, which it did. Um, and that ended up needing a little more extensive work than just a filling. I think that every kid playing basketball, I don't care what age they are, should be wearing a mouth guard because I would hate to have this happen to anyone else. It was a lot of time, it was a lot of money, it was um, a lot of heartache and um, pain, unfortunately, for my son. And it was coincidentally, we had just started our mouth guard program for non contact sports. Dr. Bradley had mentioned that he was going to be talking to coaches at different high schools and starting a mouth guard program whereby he was going to be offering um, well-fitting mouth guards for athletes and especially at the high school level. Having had this experience, I would highly, highly recommend that kids wear mouth guards for the sport. And in fact, when Joe came back after that accident, I'd say over 75% of the kids were wearing mouth guards at that point.